Hey guys, Tonic here. Today I'm going to show you a Mandalorian build that I've been working on over the past few weeks in Fallout 76. This build does really high damage while using both rifles and pistols, and in this video I will show you all the perk cards that are needed, all the different weapons and armor pieces that are needed, and at the end I will give a quick showcase showing what this build is actually capable of. So without further ado, let's get into it. So getting started here, let's take a look at the different perk cards. Now I know that talking about perk cards can be pretty boring, so I'm going to try and whip through this pretty quick. So in strength we have Barbarian just for some extra damage resistance, then we do have Bandolier for some quality of life and blocker, then over here we do have all of the Rifleman perks as well as Tank Killer and Concentrated Fire, and this is all going to mostly be for the Alien Disintegrator. Going over here into Endurance, we have Ironclad, Ghoulish, Adamantium Skeleton, and Fireproof, and this is all pretty much just going to be for some damage resistance and regaining health. Going over here, we have Tenderizer. And then going over into Intelligence, we do have Nerd Rage because this is a bloodied build. We have Demolition Expert to help out with the Crusader Pistol's damage. Batteries included because energy ammo is really heavy and you definitely do want this card if you are going to be running a lot of energy weapons. Going over into Agility, we just have a lot of the Pistol Perk cards to help out with our Blaster, as well as some other ones like Sneak, Escape Artist, and Adrenaline. And then going over here, we just have your basic Luck Perk cards for any type of sneaky build. Going up into the Legendary Perks, we do have Legendary Perception, Legendary Luck, Strength, and Intelligence, and this is all just to get a few extra Perk cards. Then we do also have Master Infiltrator, just for some quality of life, and we have Follow Through to help with that Sneak damage. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the different weapons that we are going to be using with this build. First up we do have the Blaster Pistol, and this is just going to be a Bloodied Crusader Pistol with the Fusion Receiver mod. This is going to turn this weapon into an energy based weapon, and it does kind of feel like a Star Wars Blaster when you're shooting it, you have those little red streaks coming out of the barrel. Going down here we do have the Phase Pulse Blaster, or in our case an Alien Disintegrator Rifle with a Quad 50 Crit Roll, and we are going to be running this with the High Powered Receiver. So now let's take a look at the different pieces of armor that we are going to be running with this build. On the chest we are using secret service armor mostly just because you can put a jetpack on there. I do think that the combat armor did have more of a Mandalorian look, but we can't really put a jetpack on there so we're stuck with the secret service chest piece. Then on the arms and on the legs we are using combat armor and this is all unyielding and then we also do have the season 5 scoreboard item, the Alistar helmet for the headpiece. On the back we do have little baby Mothman taking the place of baby Yoda and of course we do have that jetpack there and honestly I think it kind of works pretty well, it does have that Mandalorian look. Now with all of the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and test out this build. So we are down at West Tech and we are going to be starting out with the pistol. So we'll start there, two shots there, two more there. Another two, so it looks like about two shots in the head with the Crusader pistol. It's going to be taking down a nice super mutant. One shot on the hound. And three there, well detected. Moving down here we can take out the rifle. Again, two shots. So that one pushed 961, I believe I saw. So that one was over a thousand, which is pretty impressive. Heading over here, we should have a few more targets. Over a thousand game. That is a legendary. Nice three star. And as you can see, the build is performing pretty well. Now, it wouldn't be a build video without a quick behemoth kill. So let's go ahead and try this thing out. So one, two, three, four. Let's wait for the AP to go back. Five. So five shots there will take down a behemoth with the alien disintegrator. And so now heading down to Pylon V13, we can go ahead and try and take down this behemoth using the Crusader pistol. So there he is, so let's get some headshots in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I have to reload. I think it's going to be eight. So, 8. Pretty solid, honestly a lot better than I thought. I was kind of expecting around 10 or higher, so 8's pretty good. This build is just a ton of fun to use. It's super cool flying around and just blasting enemies from the sky with either your pistol or your rifle. And this was my first ever time trying to make a hybrid build, a build that can utilize two different weapon types. I have a sweet spot for rifles, that's kind of been my thing since I've started playing this game. I've always used rifles, whether it be just single shot or commando, but now I have started to use a lot of pistols, and this build kind of allows me to use both of them. I can switch them around on the fly, and kind of use whatever I'm in the mood for, so I've just really 
been enjoying my time with this build. And also at first I was trying to incorporate a melee weapon into this build. I was trying to use a warglaive and that didn't really work out too well. And I also did try to use a plasma cutter to act as a dark saber, but that didn't really work out too well either. It's pretty hard making three different weapon types work with one single build, where the two ranged weapons can kind of use similar perks that can kind of feed off of each other and work well together, but when you throw a melee weapon in there, you kind of have to sacrifice some of the ranged perk cards, and it just really wasn't working out. But I should also mention that this is not supposed to be some queen killing build or some earl speed running build. This is just kind of there for fun. It's just there to kind of mix up the standard play style. It does do well against bosses. I did do a few queen fights with this on public servers, and I held my own pretty well. I didn't do an earl with this yet, but I would assume it's about the same. It's just a pretty good standard build. It's not really anything that's too min-maxed. It's not going to go out there and just just completely decimate massive enemies, but it is going to allow you to have a lot of fun and it's definitely going to allow you to switch up your playstyle a little bit. But with that being said, that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you for stopping by and watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members, Cody Craig, Robert Kenner, Brian Baker, Mizader, Yozevated, Esdeath93, Dalton Murphy, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Gulti, Wandering Wastelander, Lanthar, Anna Reestes, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Argent Deer, Bowser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Theodore, Digital Aardvark, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.